focus of our activities at Scripps Research Institute is to do research to understand the basic biology and etiology of diseases. And then our passion in the Kelly Group is to translate those understandings into first-in-class drugs to ameliorate neurodegenerative diseases. When we started, it was clear that transthyretin aggregation was the likely driver of the degenerative phenotypes in the so-called transthyretin amyloid diseases. The second thing that we learned after a few years of research was that the tetrameric structure of transthyretin slowly comes apart. So we fashioned small molecules that made the slowest step much slower. Uh, no, when I saw these patients, there were no treatments. I think the notion was, particularly the people with cardiac disease, we knew the point in making the diagnosis was that there were certain drugs that we usually use for cardiac disease which didn't work well in these patients and in fact could make them sicker. So that's pretty much how we were constrained in the past. But now, if you can do something positive, and which appears to be the case in, in a proportion of these patients, so that's a big plus. The idea that led to tofamidus, we believe, is going to be applicable to many other uh, protein misfolding based diseases because the, the concept of stabilizing a protein using a small molecule ligand is something that can be portable. It can be used in a number of different systems. And that's the strategy that we use to develop tofamidus which ameliorates the transthyretin amyloid diseases. The idea of making small molecules to stabilize a protein is a strategy that works clearly. The idea of the future research in our lab is to tap the biology that protects us from neurodegenerative diseases, and that strategy should be useful for most, if not all, of the neurodegenerative diseases. So the strength of the Kelly Lab is that it has this very diverse set of experts that everyone works focused on understanding how proteins work and how they can misfunction. And so that has inspired me and given me the necessary tools to take that expertise and apply it specifically to neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's, where I can use brain organoids, basically human brains on a dish, to look at how if you have stressors, how that can affect the whole system overall. What if we could come up with an approach that uses one molecule to stabilize lots of different proteins? So you have a whole bunch of different diseases associated with problems with protein folding. And what if we could upregulate the things that help proteins fold in order to solve that problem rather than just creating one drug? What we did is we took advantage of the uh, cell's natural signaling pathways in order to upregulate the proteins that help other proteins fold. So these are stress responsive signaling pathways and the one that we were interested in is called ATF6. And so we created a molecule that targets this pathway to activate it. And what it does is it upregulates pro-folding machinery like chaperones that will help proteins fold that are associated with these diseases. It's exciting to be a part of this because we can see the work that we did decades ago getting pushed farther and farther into other diseases that maybe we weren't even thinking about at the time. Well, it's tremendously gratifying to know that tofamidus serves as a proof of principle for how to ameliorate other neurodegenerative diseases.